Hello, hello, and welcome to Sound Wisdom Tarot, love reading for the collective. Spirit guides, hi divine, angel messengers and intergalactical beings, please help me connect to the spirit guides of our collective here, tuning in for their love. Okay, collective, a reminder that these are general messages, so this may not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please hit the like button, share, subscribe to let YouTube know which messages to keep sending you. All right, hi, Divine, what messages does our collective need to know regarding love about them and their person of interest, please? Can we have past, present, future from our Moonology deck? Past, present, future. Love reading. Oh, thank you, thank you. What is this card saying? We've got your dreams need a practical plan. Hmm. Okay, for the past, for the past. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, present, present, please. Present moment, please. Thank you. Meditate and contemplate. Ah, okay. And currently. No, moving forward. <laughs> Next steps. Moving forward, please. What does our collective need to know? Moving forward. Moving forward, please. Moving forward. Next steps. Regarding love. <laughs> We're just jumping out. Jumping out. Here we are. We have, ah, I love this. Time to release negativity. Okay, so collective. Thank you, Spirit. In your recent past, your dreams need a more practical plan. So I get the feeling that in your past regarding love, you maybe haven't like really identified who it is like what kind of a partner you're actually looking for. You tend to just let in whoever comes in, right? Without really deciding, like, is this somebody I actually want? So because of that, in this current moment, you're being asked to meditate and contemplate on who it is you really want to be bringing into your life. What kind of a relationship do you want? You get to choose this. This is the time right now to make that more practical plan about the kind of person you want. What qualities do they have? What qualities are you looking for in a partner? This is the time to write that down, create a vision board, journal, draw, write a song. <laughs> what? kind of person do you want to be with? And what kind of person don't you want to be with? What are the red flags for you? What are the deal breakers for you? What are the things that, you know, you would like, but you could shift on? Give yourself time right now to meditate and contemplate in order to believe in a positive future because it's time to release the negativity of the past. Yeah, your next steps, you need to be open to a positive relationship. And a lot of that starts with your, well, all of that starts with your own thinking around it. It's time to stop envisioning negative outcomes with your relationships. Okay, let's get some more messages, please. Past, present, future, please. From our enchanted map deck. Past, present, future regarding love. Regarding our collective and their love interest, please. Spirit, make it clear for us, please. Clear messages, past, present, future. Thank you. Heal the ouch. 
Oh, yeah. He'll be out. What else, please? Oh. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, dry desert. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one more, please. One more, please. Spirit, one more, please. Next steps. Next steps. Thank you. Protecting treasure. Fabulous. Okay. So you've had a lot of ouches in your past mm -hmm. regarding relationships, even regarding your, your person of interest. The only way we can heal, my collective, is to feel. You got to feel it to heal it. If you've been trying to ignore your past pains and pretend like they didn't hurt you. It's going to lead you to feeling burnout and all dried up because they'll keep happening. Now that's not the, that's sounds a little different from right before I was saying like, stop thinking so negatively. You got to release the negativity. But feeling it isn't the same as, as dwelling in the negativity. Feeling's an important step, right? We acknowledge the hurt as a way to heal it. Forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be hurt. That's how we can forgive the situations. Forgive yourself for what you didn't know already. Self-care. What would be healing for you to heal the past? Time in nature, baths. Eating nice foods, like preparing and eating nice foods for yourself. Watching uplifting shows or movies, reading. In this present moment, you might be feeling like really, really burnt out, which is why taking some time to meditate and contemplate will help you get out of this dry desert. You don't want to keep feeling like you don't have any energy left to give to relationships. You need to create that practical plan of who it is you actually want so that you're not left here dried out and burdened and burnt out. Just walking alone aimlessly in the desert like... Why am I so alone, right? It's time to get clear on what you want. Release the negativity from the past. Release the past pains. Because you've got a beautiful heart to give. But you do need to protect it. Here we've got opportunity to protect the amazing partner that you are. An amazing opportunity to heal and protect the love that you are capable of sharing with yourself and others. Yeah, this is a high message from the divine asking you to really Take the time for self-care, self-love, and nurture your own love right now. Protect the dream, too, of the love you are seeking. This is not a time to give up on that just because of past pains. Allow yourself to acknowledge and dream up 
kind of person you really want and protect that against everything. So if somebody's trying to come in in your next little bit of future, right? In this next steps, that really isn't a treasure to you, they will take your own treasure too, right? Don't allow in the people into your universe who don't deserve you. Even if you're feeling so alone, you're just like, oh, it's a person. It's a person out there in the desert. I'll take them. No. You got to protect your heart and the amazing qualities you have to share. Get clear on who you want. Let yourself acknowledge the past pains as a way to get clear on who you want. Take time out to meditate, contemplate, so that you can move forward. And let's see, what does the Kipper have to say about our collective regarding love? What do they need to know? Highest messages only, please, regarding love. cards there. Please, one card at a time, Spirit. One card at a time, please. One card at a time. Thank you. What do we have here? Official person. Thank you. Expectation. Expectation. And finally... One more, please, Spirit. One more. For our collective regarding love. Is this one coming out? Huh, courtship. Okay. In the past, you have some sort of official person. Right? It could have just been like your person. <laughs> could be your current person. It could be a past person, but they played an, an official part in your life. You're still looking back right now at them. So this, this is, it's like this, this way. So the, this person's like looking at them. You are looking at them. Again, gender doesn't, doesn't matter, but this is you looking with expectation backwards towards the past. These two people look very similar. A person in the dry desert. Here you are looking out, looking out at the world, but staying in. And because you're being asked to release the negativity, I wonder if you're still looking back at the past of these official people that have played like a, an official place in your life, in your love life. Now, and you're expecting things to be the same. As you look back, look back only to learn the lessons only to learn the lessons, to help heal the ouch, right? To get clear on your practical plan regarding the type of person you actually want. Be careful of looking back with that expectation of it happening again, of the negative things happening again. Maybe you're expecting a past person to re-enter your life. So whether, because this is a general reading, so some of you have a brand new person coming through, ready to court you. Some of you have maybe a past person that's already been there coming back to court you. Some of you are feeling so dried up, you can't even imagine that there's somebody coming through to court you, <laughs> right? Some of you are, are sitting here in this dry desert energy. Um, 
But the message here for you, whoever this person is that's been here in your past, if you catch yourself looking back, make sure you're using that looking back energy as a way to heal and not recreate negative patterns. Because you've got somebody in your next steps that just might be a treasure that you need to protect. Especially if you call them in with your manifestation power. Meditate and contemplate on who you want. Not from like a practical sense. Just this is creating a more practical plan for your love life. <laughs> Meaning making sure you're not going to keep cycling the ouch patterns. And instead bring in the kind of relationship you actually want. Who would you want to court you? How do you want them to court you? Get clear on that. Get clear on that. What you want. From like the highest, most positive way. So sometimes that starts with like starting with what you don't want. I don't want them to do this. But then make sure to find that opposite. So that means I do want them to do this. I don't want them to be like this. I do want them to be like this. Okay, final three messages from Spirit regarding your love life. Please, Spirit, help us get clear the three final messages. Past, present, future. Past, present, future. messages are slow. Here we go. Yes. Ten of wands. Yeah. In the past, things felt really, really hard. Really hard. You were just carrying everything on your own. You were carrying the whole load of the relationship on your own, on yourself. And it felt like you were going backwards. It felt like you weren't going the way you wanted to go. Currently, things are a little confusing. Yeah. Currently, Things are not clear. That's why you need to take that time to meditate and contemplate on what you want versus what you don't want. Thank you. And then you're going to have to stand your ground regarding what you want because this is coming up in your near future seven of wands. Yes. So, mm, mm -hmm. so when you're being courted here, Make sure you protect your energy and protect your treasure, the treasure of you and your love, and stand up. Stand up for yourself. When we're feeling, you know, kind of like in this dry desert place, it's almost like, well, we compromise ourselves sometimes when we're first meeting people, you know? We imagine... We imagine we could be different and we try to be different in order to please the other person. But you're being called to not do that. You're being called to stand up and protect your treasure. Mm. And to set firm boundaries. Embrace who you are. Who you are. And be bold about that. Don't let anyone into your universe that doesn't deserve to be there. Use the courtship time as a way to like determine that, right? Instead of like jumping right in to the next relationship, take time to, to court, right? I know we don't use that term anymore, courtship, but take time to date. Take time to get to know the person and like really decide like, are they worthy? of the treasure that is me, right? The treasure that is you. Are they worthy to be there? And if not, hold them back. <laughs> okay, I like this for you. I like this for you. 
You've got some time right now in this present moment to meditate and contemplate on the type of person you want. Releasing the negativities and those negative expectations. And give yourself permission to heal the past by acknowledging the hurts and by acknowledging what you would prefer. You don't have to keep feeling like this in relationship. Mm -hmm. It's time now to protect the treasure that is you. The treasure that is your love. And in these next steps forward, as you date, give yourself time to date. And as you date, keep standing up for yourself and what you deserve. Mm, yes, keep standing up for yourself and what you deserve. You're worth it. All right, my Sound Wisdom Collective. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. If this resonated with you, please like, hit that notification button, share, subscribe, comment below. I want to know. I want to hear how this resonated with you. It would mean so much to me to have your support through your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And until next time, Sound Wisdom Collective, stay well.